banks of the Tananaw River just outside of Fairbanks. This is where the town of China used to sit. China and Fairbanks were in competition with each other and uh, the railroad got rerouted from China straight to Fairbanks and that pretty much caused the death of the town of China and then a flood wiped it out. So anyways, this is where it used to be, right here along the banks of the Tananaw River. Pretty cool. The China River is just up here that leads up to Fairbanks. Just around the turn there. So I was down here looking along the river bank and I happened to notice there are a lot of little pieces of glass shards. So I wonder if that's like from modern time or whether it's just remnants of where the town used to be here. Over there. So they were mining like crazy out here. So I wonder if this is one of the old mining roads. Wow, look at this. Look for some spots on the sides here. Boy, I'd love to find a new spot. Whoa. Right there is a cabin. Sweet. We got to go check that out, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a cabin. Wow. So I came back out to the spot where I've been having a lot of luck and I drove up a little side trail that I've never checked out before and I found a, the remnants of an old log cabin. I love finding them when they're still standing. So let's go over and check it out and uh, maybe we'll get lucky. I got my detector with me and uh, my bottle probe. Maybe we'll find something over here. Let's go look. Okay, so let me check this out. This is pretty cool. I love finding these old type of things. Wow, it looks old. It's got a big ditch dug right beside it. Wow, look at that. Sweet. Here's some kind of metal hooks. Check that out though, that is bad. Wow. I see some old cans right there and there. Wow, this is awesome. Let's walk around here and look. Now look at that, all notched out. In this big ditch. But did you see how short the door is? Look on these cabins. It wasn't like, you know, because look, you see what I, I would have to duck down like this to get in here. Isn't that crazy? Look, there's a hinge. Wow, I bet you we can find some relics around here, guys.
Here's the back side of it. Some kind of pipe. Pretty small little cabin actually, isn't it? That is too cool. Uh, might have been a window or a door on that side. It looks like another one over here. But there was none on the back. Whoa, so look at this. This must be a mine shaft. They must have been digging. Yeah, they must have been digging down in there. All right, I'm gonna get my detector and put it together and uh, see what we can find. And yeah, there's a window frame. Oh, look at this. Maybe what's left of their little makeshift. There's a big old piece of metal. It's probably gonna be targets galore. There's another piece of stove pipe right there. Oh look, check it out guys. Spider webs. Look what I just found. An old shovel. Hey, first target. Sweet. All right, let's keep looking. Holy crap, I wanna show you the size of this mushroom. It's big. Look at that. That's a big mushroom. I'm just kind of wandering around looking at different things before I start detecting. A lot of mushrooms. I'm just looking to see if I see anything else, you know, here in their backyard. Nice spot. It's a big flat right there. It's kind of got me curious. It's probably all the tailings they pulled out of that mine shaft they threw over here. Who knows? And it feels rocky. Like it could have been a road through there. Right, I'm gonna go get my gear, <coughs> get my pistol. Feel a lot safer in case I see a bear. I see a metal can over here. Right there, look at that. And this is an old tailings pile here. All right, well, let's work our way back around here and uh, go get the detector. I did uh, feel a couple things up here that felt like glass when I was probing. Awesome. Curious to see what kind of targets we get. Look at this. There's a big sheet of metal. Pretty sweet. Well, look at this. I was crossing up to go get into the back of the cabin and I just happened to put my probe down 
and I hit something. Look at it, it looks like iron. Reminds me of when I found those picks. It's gonna take me a minute to dig that up. I'll be right back. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Look at this. I think I found the rail. Look, it's a rail for like ore carts. For like mining ore carts. Wow. There might have been a mine shaft right in the side of that hill there. That's crazy. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, so I probed and that rail runs all the way up past that tree there. And then it gets deep in the ground. That's crazy. Oh, look. And there's the second one, I bet. Let's dig it just to look. Well, sure enough, look at that. There's the two rails. And the ore carts would roll back and forth on these. That's crazy. That's some gold rush history right there, folks. Wow. It's a shame they're so long, I can't. There's no way I could take them on my motorcycle. I haven't even put the detector together yet. All right, let's keep looking. Well, I was trying to clear some of this stuff out because it's just so overgrown. What's this? Wow, I just found a golf club. I'm sure that's not uh, old. Somebody must have been up here goofing off or something, huh? All right, cool. Cool target. All right, so I stuck my probe in and I was hitting something. Again, I still haven't put my detector together yet. Look at this. <coughs> Some kind of tool. Look at that crazy bit that looks like it's made to chew into something. Okay, cool. There's something else here, too. Oh, wow, look, it's another one. Two of them. Imagine what I'm gonna find when I put my detector together. All right, let's keep looking. Dang, I just rechecked the hole. And there's a third one. So I got three of these things, whatever they are. All right, so I probed a hole one more time. And here is a fourth one. Okay, so I got my detector together. And there are targets everywhere. Look at this. What the heck is this? Oh, wow. Guys, it's a wheel off an old ore cart. Wow, look at that. And it's got embossing on it. It looks like it says Joshua Hindi Machine Works, San Francisco, California. Oh. Wow, that thing's heavy. That is awesome. Heck of a good target, don't you think? That's some gold rush history. Now if I could get one of those rails up. We'll have to go put this on the rails and match it up after a while. What is this? Oh, that's a giant bolt. Yeah, there's two bolts. I just found another one that was in the dirt. A little bit smaller. Oh, there's something there. It's just a stovepipe. Uh, 
Yep. Also, I just dug this like barrel hoop and check it out. It still had a piece of the barrel on it. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm not sure what I got here, but the last time I found something with this shape, it was a rifle barrel. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously excited. It might just be a bar. Oh, and it is, it's just a bar. See the big point? But hey, whew, had me going there for a second. I thought I might have found a rifle barrel. You can see where they've been pounding on that. Something else down there. I think there's stuff buried all over in here. Who knows what we'll find. Right, so I use this to pry up this. What the heck is this? Uh, oh, it's a piece of that rail. And look, they got this end all angled off. Sweet. That is nice. Look at that. That's what that is. It's one of those rails. Oh, wow. All right, let's keep looking. Well, this next target is pretty cool because I know what this is. This used to have a handle on it. I've got a pick at home just like this, like a mining pick. They must have broke it. Wow. Also, I was digging down in this hole and look at this piece of wood I just dug out. It's got a hole <laughs> right through it. That's pretty cool. I just dug this big bolt. I'm ready to find something good. It's like a hacksaw blade. Well, I think I've been pulling parts of a boot up or something. No shortage of targets like this. All right, well, I had a big target here. Big piece of iron. I've been finding all kinds of weird little pieces. Don't know what that is. big piece of iron. Wow, check this out guys. I found something really cool. It's a little teeny spike for those rails for the mining carts. Is that cool or what? That is cool. Let's see if I can find some more of those. Alright, I was looking for more of those little dinky railroad spikes. I thought that was pretty cool. I just dug up something here. Oh, another big piece of iron. Oh, another big piece of iron. No shortage of iron targets, that's for sure. Oh, look at that big nut. There's one of those giant bolts. Well, I found uh, that little teeny railroad spike over here. And I just came over in front of the cabin. And look at this. Ah, I got another one. Sweet. Is that nice or what? Wow. Okay, let's keep looking. 
Sun's going down. Ah, okay. oh, look at that, a third one. Sweet. All right, I'm in a good spot. That rail used to run right through here, so. Well, I just hit a pocket and I found three more. So I think that makes me like six now. Man, I can't believe my luck. Look at this, I just found four more. I think that puts me up to 10 or more. Sweet. I got a target here right by the front door. It's like the top of a, of a can. Still has some blue on it. Sweet. All right, pull in another target from the front of this cabin. Oh, just another one of those fastening bolts. Or brackets or whatever. Hey, look what I just dug up. Prince Albert in a can. Well, here's some other kind of uh, tobacco. Never seen that one before. Well, I've been roaming all around, finding lots of old cans, but no bottles. And I just came up to the top of this mound, and look, I found another, this makes 14 or 15 of these I found. <sighs> Crazy. Look, another one. There's probably more. Look at that. Wow, I've almost got 20 of these things. Oh my goodness, I just keep digging these things up. Look, here's another one. I just found my second shovel for today working my way towards the bike so I can load all this stuff up and get ready to head home well I'm gonna try to take this home I tell you cool old cabin huh we might come back here and search some more uh, for now let's get out of here Well, hey guys, welcome to the roundup. Here's everything I found on this cool hunt that I had today. Check this out. Isn't this crazy? Of course, I found this uh, golf club. Looks like Ultimax. It's kind of weird. But then I found this giant spike. Look at that. Well, you could really do some damage. And they pounded on that. Pretty good, you can see. Then I found this uh, mining ore cart wheel. Oh, look at that. And on the back, it says Joshua Hindi Machine Works, San Francisco, California. All embossed in the metal. That's really cool. And the really cool thing of it is, is I found a piece of the rail. Looks just like a train track rail, but it's smaller. And this wheel would ride on that. Isn't that cool? Oops. It is extremely heavy. Ugh. 
found these little tobacco tins. There's a Prince Albert. And I brought this one home because it's weird. I've never seen this green one here before. Looks like it says something like socially prepared smoking tobacco. I'm trying to. I don't know. I probably should try to clean that up. See if I can read it. But, anyways, that's pretty cool. So, here's the other things I found. Here's these things that look like bits. They have threads inside, but then they're like this on the outside. It just looks like something that would, you know, dig in. I'm not sure what they are though. Then I found several rusty bolts. I found this cool little piece. It looks like it was an end cap of some sort. I thought maybe for like a lock or something or a doorknob, but I'm just not sure. Uh, so anyways, did find, I found all kinds of nails. Look at that nail. It's crazy looking. And then I started finding these little railroad spikes that go to that. Look how, look how that looks. Isn't that cool? So anyways, there seems to be two different types here. There's the smaller ones that are all about the same size. And look at those. So I found about 16 of these smaller ones. And then of course, see these other ones are a little bit bigger. But they're still smaller than a, train, a railroad spike. And I found 15 of those. So all together I found 31 of these spikes. Is that cool or what? Well, I'm gonna go back to that spot uh, tomorrow and uh, see what else I can find. I know there has to be a dump there. I just think that maybe somebody might have been there before me and uh, found a lot of the bottles because all I'm finding is cans. And I found some holes, but everything's been thrown out of the holes. So, but I'm gonna go back tomorrow and uh, give it a look. So anyways, thanks for watching my cool adventure. I can't believe I found so many of those. Alright guys, till next time, good luck and happy hunting.